Hello everyone. Today I'd like to talk about electric water heaters called EcoCute. In my previous energy talk, I explained about heat pumps, which is a key player on the demand side of the countermeasures against global warming. That is, heat pumps recover heat from the atmosphere and multiply it many times over. Heat produced by heat pump is recognized as a renewable energy source in Europe. The use of heat pumps is expected to increase rapidly in Europe and the United States in the future. And the heat pump is a technology that Japan is proud of in the world, and Japanese manufacturers have great business opportunities in this field. EcoCute, which I will explain today, is one of the leading heat pump devices that produce hot water with a heat pump. EcoCute utilizes the heat pump mechanism itself, which recovers heat from the atmosphere and make it the hot water by multiplying the energy many times over. As you know, CFCs are generally used as refrigerant in air conditioners. However, CFC is a greenhouse gas, 2,000 times more harmful than the now infamous CO2. Therefore, the air conditioner is managed to prevent CFC from leaking from the air conditioner and to recover CFC from the used air conditioner. However, EcoCute uses natural refrigerant, which is carbon dioxide, that exists naturally as a refrigerant. So there is no need to worry about these problems at all. It is literally the best solution to global warming. Next, let me talk about the development, e development of EcoCute. In Japan, gas is exclusively used to boil water. Electricity can also be used to produce hot water, but I as I have explained, it is not very efficient to use electric heaters to heat water. Therefore, the development of devices that produce hot water with electric power using the heat pump mechanism was initiated. At the time, the greenhouse effect of CFCs, which were commonly used in air conditioners, was becoming an issue. So it was set out to develop a heat pump water heater that did not use CFC as a refrigerant, but instead used carbon dioxide, which exists in the air, as a refrigerant. The Central Research Institute of Electric Power Industry, Denso Corporation, and Tokyo Electric Power Company participated in the development of this technology which was commercialized in the year 2001 and given the nickname EcoCute. Since then, more than a dozen companies have commercialized and sold these heat pump water heaters, all of which use the nickname EcoCute. Their efficiency has achieved COP3 in 2002, EcoCute received the Energy Conservation Grand Prize, Minister of Economy, Trade and Industry Award, the Japan Society of Mechanical Engineers Award, and Japan Society of Refrigeration and Air Conditioning Engineers Award, as well as the Climate Protection Award from the United States Environmental Protection Agency. EcoCute has another feature, that is, that it stores hot water that boils up to about 90 degrees in a tank. And when hot water is used, the hot water in the tank is used at the required temperature. This was intended to make hot water at night 
when electricity consumption is lower. This provides a low leveling effect for the power company and economic benefits for the household in the form of cheaper nighttime electricity use. On the other hand, it requires space for a tank, making it difficult to install in condominiums. Nevertheless, amidst a growing concern over global warming, the use of ecocute has been widely spreading, especially among houses, due to its energy saving and economic efficiency. And the total number of ecocute units sold has now exceeded 9 million in Japan. In this energy talk, I introduce the features of ecocute and the history of its development. In next energy talk, I'd like to explain in detail about the energy saving effects of ecocute and its CO2 reduction effect with some figures. Please check it out in the next energy talk. That's all for today. Stay curious about energy. Thank you very much.